and you know we've been discussing this about the Mexican sunflower is it invasive yes of course it is but um, what is it doing here is it fulfilling his purpose Woo! yo the Agua Fresh Academy friends there mate forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them so guys just very quickly if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now all right it's free Make that button great and make my day. Follow us and be the first to know when the new content's out. And if you appreciate this video, smash that like button and help us reach more people so others can too learn about agroforestry. And without any further ado, let's get rolling with today's content. Yo, what is up friends? Friends from the Agroforestry Academy. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share this thought with you. Um, a lot of mixed opinions in this. You know, a lot of polemic ideas going on. Today I'm here to discuss about the Mexican sunflower and its invasive uh, properties. I'm here at the roadside. All right, we're by the road here. And if I turn around, see, this is a Cejadon, it's our savanna, at a very dense stage. In there, it's quite a healthy little forest, very healthy indeed, rich soils, black soils. There's not much fire going on here since it's been protected by this road. All right, and you know, we've been discussing this about the Mexican sunflower. Is it invasive? Yes, of course it is. But um, what is it doing here? Is it fulfilling his purpose? <laughs> Woo! Yo, the Agua Fresh Academy friends there, mate. So it's fulfilling its purpose, right? And this is the point. To, to when is it invasive to? You know, where is it going to go into? And when is it going to remove itself from the system voluntarily? This is the point. We have Mexican sunflowers along here, but it doesn't go inside, isn't it? It doesn't grow where the where it's not meant to fulfill its purpose. Every plant is equipped to fulfill its purpose and once its job is completed, it moves on. So here we can clearly see, stop the car, but we're going back here, where we have Mexican sunflowers, but we have it along the borders, where it needs to, you know, where on the outside of the forest, where there are degraded soils, where you know you need to build soil so here we can see where the mexican sunflowers are in the outskirts right in these areas here which the soil can be made better all right here they are you know here's the mexican sunflower all nice and invasive yes it's exotic and everything uh but let's let's observe it's so invasive no management it's seeding everywhere for several years obviously but inside, you cannot see any of it. So, it's, you know, it's not from closed forests. It's not from shaded environments. So it's clear to me, in my opinion, observing it, that it can fulfill its purpose and move on. You know, it's not going to come in and destroy healthy systems. It's not going to go in to the shade you know, and invade and remove healthy ecosystems and, you know, swallow everything if there's no need to. It simply will not grow under these canopies. I myself have dealt with many systems with uh, Mexican sunflowers in the house where I've planted it. And then we've seen, and then I've planted the forest with it. And it's grown around the forest with the small seedlings. And if you go inside and you're like, oh my God, it swallowed everything. But when you go inside, 
It's all there. It's like a greenhouse. Beautiful giving conditions for those seedlings, those baby seedlings that otherwise would have been out in the bare sun with degraded land. So it's really acting there, giving condition where there was no condition for these seedlings to grow. And with time, these trees grew and they, you know, they outshaded the Mexican sunflowers and the Mexican sunflowers went away without me fighting them, without me having to remove them, without me having to kill them. So they served the purpose at a stage. And when you see them invading lands, ask yourself, was that land really healthy? Did that land need that help? Was the Mexican sunflowers, uh, was he completing his duty? Was he, you know, enriching in that soil, giving conditions so that seeds can sprout. You know, in nature things happen slower, you know, so it might be that this Mexican sunflower needs a couple of years to build on that soil, to give conditions so that when that bird drops that seed, it's able to germinate. And eventually when it germinates, you know, and then you start creating trees around it, you know, I've seen it happen. Mexican sunflowers, they go away. So, well, it's my favorite plant in the world. Uh, I've been debating this a lot with people that love the savanna and, uh, you know, hate the Mexican sunflowers and things like that. But I mean, I've been observing it and I've seen it in savannas on the outskirts or when it's gone into savannas that have been degraded by fire and they really have no more condition to recover in a process of desertification. We're going into desert. And then Mexican sunflowers can come in and turn that game around. And eventually, life will build up under it. And when the forest is regenerated, it's going to go away with no fight, with no war. Okay, so it comes in, fulfills its jobs. What other invasive species do this? Because everyone is here to fulfill a purpose. And often, these plants, they're growing in areas which nothing else would grow. And that means that density can provide the kind of organic matter and better that soil to the point that others will then be able to now live, ones that weren't able before these were here. And then that enriching soil, and then most likely they're not, this is not gonna be the space and climate for those invasive species anymore because now we've got richer soils, that's not appropriate for these plants anymore and then we start seeing the more demanding and uh, enriching and uh, more productive fruit wise and food wise species that will thrive in the future but nature acts really slow and there's so much degraded land that we're trying to protect rather than promoting you know abundance long live the Mexican sunflowers let us know in the comment please don't swear at me it's just a debate and it's just you know uh, a conclusion from my observation all right so from the agroforest academy crew check it out healthy healthy all the while and there's mexican sunflowers around the borders only they don't come in they're doing a the job enriching the soils as on the outside borders all right till next time